welcome. Um, it's been a long time, <laughs> I know. And this is my mom's kitchen in Korea. And uh, it's been a while since I uploaded a new recipe. And so I decided to upload a new recipe for you. And so today we are going to make spicy red japchae. So this is uh, more like a Busan, Gunsan, the south part of South Korea style japchae. Uh, and there's a two different kinds. One is a peeping like the mix, the like, like a lukewarm room temperature peeping style, or one is a little more soupier in a, a hot, spicy style. And the, yeah, that's what we're gonna make, the hot and spicy style, since it's cold, winter, snowy, Korea is super cold. Korea winter is super cold! <laughs> like, I, like, I missed it! <laughs> so anyway, that's what we're gonna make. So you need this tangmyeon, Korean sweet potato noodles and I'm going to pour hot boiling water. And so we're gonna soak them about 10 to 15 minutes in boiling hot water. And while the noodles are soaking in the hot water, we are going to prep all our veggies and uh, ingredients. So this japchae is very different than the japchae you know, which is there's no meat goes in. Uh, because it's from Busan and Gunsan area, uh, they, there's a lot of abundance of seafood. So they like to put omuk, which is a fish cake. Uh, but instead of omuk, I decided to use yubu, fried bean curd. So this is about three to four ounce of of yubu, so you will need about same amount fish cake too. And if you want more, put more. It really doesn't matter. It looks like a lot, but this is all my protein. <laughs> okay, next is a pengi basat, the enoki mushrooms. Just one small pack of it. Cut the bottom part off, and then we are going to separate them like this into one bite sizes. Cooking in Korea has been really fun. Um, honestly, I didn't really cook that much in Korea because I, ju I just helped my mom because she loves to cook too. And this is her kitchen, so that's how I will be cooking, just cooking with her as a sous chef. Uh, but cooking in Korea has been really fun because there's so many familiar ingredients, super fresh. And, uh, yeah, and those ingredients sometimes I forgot about because it's not available in America, but it's available in Korea. Like some of those, I'm like, oh, I missed it. This is a real idea of co cooking in Korea though. Like I have to separate all this plastic bag into the recycle and this is food waste part. <laughs> Next, some onion. You need maybe one medium to small size onion, just simply sliced. Also julienne, some carrot. Pretty clean carrot, it's a Jeju carrot, carrot from Jeju. Next, some garlic. Cannot cook Korean food without garlic, yeah, now. You guys are probably wondering, I thought you guys, you're, you guys are traveling the world, why you guys are in Korea so long? Oh, you guys didn't know we are in Korea so long unless you're following on Instagram. Um, we're staying in Korea a little bit with mom for a couple different reasons. Um, I can't explain all that later, but anyways. Looks like a little more than a couple tablespoons, but nobody gonna complain about a little too much garlic, at least in Korea. Now, some green onion time. So, <laughs> so this is a Korean green onion, Peppa. Uh, a lot of Americans know this for Tokyo Negi, uh, but uh, Korea also have this large green onion we use. So this one, one green onion is probably, the whole thing is probably about a little more than a bundle of a green onion you can find in American grocery stores. But what we need amount is about three to four green onions, like the American green onions. <laughs> Just gonna slice it nice and thin. Honestly, for this recipe, more garlic and more green onion, more delicious. About this much. <laughs> so this is the pot or the pan that I'm gonna use. Um, this shape of a wok shape of pan is really convenient, but you can just use, you can just do in a large skillet or just a, a large pot. Either one will work, okay? So what I'm gonna do, is put all this garlic and green onion into the pan. And here, let's add a couple tablespoons of sesame oil. So this is like a freshly squeezed sesame oil. I'm so lucky with Korean ingredients in Korea. I'm gonna be so spoiled. I'm actually gonna measure it for you guys. And we need soy sauce and yondu. <laughs> so, <laughs> this yondu doesn't have any, <laughs> uh, what do you call, label? This yondu doesn't have any label because when mom 
opened it up, she just took it everything out. But you know what yondu is. I've been using yondu so many times, and I will put the link down below, of course, where you can find yondu. It's a fermented vegetable sauce, and I've been loving this sauce. But if you don't have it, you can use either fish sauce or zuyu. Same amount of agave nectar or sugar of your choice. And some black pepper. Gochugaru. A lot of people are gonna get annoyed by if I put this wet spoon into <laughs> So I won't do it for ya, okay? I, I use a different one. <laughs> now we are going to bring this to the stove and over low, medium low heat, let it simmer and let the sauce to like cook and combine the flavor. <laughs> The sauce looks good. You can smell all the aroma. And hello, say, Jacob, say hello. <laughs> Mushroom, carrot, onion, yubu, noodles, and kongnamul, the bean sprouts, all into the pan. That, actually, I need to mix those first, and then I'm gonna put this too. Because they need to kind of cook down a little bit. <laughs> So we're gonna add a pound of Korean soybean sprouts in this chapche, and this is a key vegetable ingredient for this chapche. But if you cannot find it, you can just use regular bean sprouts. Uh, it's very important. And if you are using regular bean sprouts, I recommend to add when I'm adding this chili and the chive into uh, the chapche at the last, not right now, okay? But if you are using soybean sprouts, we need to cook a little longer than regular bean sprouts. Let's go to the stove. Oh my goodness. You and I think we got something special. you're so greedy. I do yoga and meditate and all that stuff. My my greediness is doesn't it's not working out. <laughs> <laughs> Put it down like this. They believe or not, they will all calm down. And make sure you are on like medium low heat so things are not burning. Like a medium to medium low heat so things are not burning but slowly cook and all the delicious vegetable water we released from the bean sprouts and onions and the carrots and they will all saucy and will be combined. Trust me. It will happen. Doesn't look like it, but it will happen. While the chapcha is cooking, slice some chai and some spicy chili. You actually could use gennip, Korean wild sesame leaf. And gennip is actually my favorite, but uh, I decided to use some chai because I have some. And I ate all the gennip in my mom's refrigerator. <laughs> when gennip is in the refrigerator, Sangyang eats all. It's been five minutes, and I'm gonna just go ahead and give them a little mix. All right, they're looking good, perfect. If you want a little more like a soupy, then you can actually add like either chicken stock or vegetable stock to make it more soupy, but I actually like, like it like this. Turn off the heat and go ahead and toss the chive and the chili. I'm gonna bring it out here to mix, so we can get better camera angle. Ooh. As soon as the green heat to this red japchae, mmm, this is so healthy too. Has all the protein, vegetables, and a little bit of a carb. Delicious, delicious. Dang! Nobody can stop my greedy towards food. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Yeah, I know. Finish with some sesame seeds. And a little more sesame oil. Pa -pa! Da -da 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 -da! Delicious spicy red japchae. <laughs> I was actually a little worried uh, because we haven't filmed for like a long time, actually a few months now. Uh, but I think it went well, huh? Well, we'll see when you see the footage. And... Uh, uh, that's why I have this guy right here. <laughs> Just in case. Mmm. 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 Mmm.
If you liked my spicy red japchae recipe, give this video a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys!